Okay guys, welcome back. Thanks for taking the time to join me. So what I want to do is, I'm going to tie a wee lock fly this evening. And this one's called the Conwell's Parade. Now the hook and the vise is a Camazon B175 and size 10. The thread that I'm going to use is the uni thread, 801 black. This is just going to be a wee slight variation on the fly. Um, I just don't have any blue jay fellers at the minute. So I'm just going to work my thread down past the point of the hook. Come in and trim away the waist. Now the tail on the fly is a golden pheasant crest feather. So I just want to get a good one off here. Now you can use just the, the straight through natural yellow. This one here has been dyed. Dyed this a uh, sunburst yellow so I'm just going to catch that in there that tail's much too long <laughs> so I'm just going to pull this in the length and I want it roughly the length of the, the shank it's not a retard so, yep and trim away the waist end that in the bin or I'll be getting told off another couple of turns just to catch that in now the butt is some clarred floss and this is the I don't know if I ever showed you this this is the Hank clarred floss that I get from Blob and Buzzer great range of colours and that floss from Andrew Humphreys and it's great for the stuff here for wee butts. Now a couple of turns and then bring my thread in front. Now leave this bit of floss here over the back. Don't be moving it because I'm not going to uh, use any UV resin or varnish or super glue to protect the floss. I want it to remain the way it is. Now, I'm just going to work my thread forward. Don't forget everything else. Don't worry about the, the floss. Just make sure it's well tied in nice and tight at this point. Then bring this over the back. Catch it in. It's just a couple of turns. We like a wax. Fold the thread back over the top and then come in and trim that away. Now, what that does is look, just puts that locking turn in over the top for you. Keeps it all nice and tight. Now, obviously, if the trout have a go at it, the butt may be the first thing to go. However, you want to try and tie the fly as strongly as you can. Now I'm just catching the oval gold tinsel on your side of the hook. So there. Now the body, just looking at a wee pinch of light olive seals fur. Stub this on. And then once you get it onto the hook you can tighten up. To that point there. Any wee fibers want to go forward of the eye, just sweep them back, put a couple of turns in. Now the body haggle, there which of there's two. First one is this is a Chinese cock haggle capes I'm using. The first one that there green one is a green highlander haggle. Then the next one you're looking at a nice bright bright orange. I've taken that one off but it's much too long so it's going to go back in here this we keep we don't want them too long that's the worst with a should have had these ready sorry so that's us now now it's up to you I'm going to put the green in front of the orange you know what I'm doing here is just matching them up tip to tip 
the angels come in and I want to select the best part of the feather to start with which is right about there for me so just take everything else out of the way and just rip away all the crap at the bottom or bigger part of the rubbish and then offer this up to the hook come around nice and tight now with your turns come in and trim away the waste now I'm only really looking at three turns of these guys so one at the shoulder of the fly meaning the top of the body and then two down the body we're not looking really any more than that because we don't want to cover up the body now, it's coming back again there because I don't want them to separate too much on me I'll try and keep them together now just keep a hold of your tip the two tips of the haggle follow you up this round with your oval silver and the quicker that you come through this the better you'll catch less favors down then just come in sweep everything back bring your oval gold tinsel up at the front and catch that in and then we'll just come in and trim that away from away the two haggles at the back. Then we'll come in and give us a wee brush with Velcro. At this point, just going to sweep everything back, bring my thread to the eye of the hook. So you can start to put down a sort of way a build up of thread there. Now, this is where it becomes a variant. So at this point, and I will get, blue, I'll get some blue jay during the week. At this point you put on your blue jay but it's wound and I'll, 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 I'll do a video of another fly and I'll show you how to do that however as a substitute I'm just going to use this this is a, an English partridge feather that has been dyed a kingfisher blue so this is a perfect substitute for it rather than using the the guinea fowl which is a wee bit darker now just catch this in. Remember with a couple of turns, I'm going to fold the tip back. Just leave my fingers back and then just come in and break away the tip. Right, I'm just going to get my haggle pliers so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm only really looking to turn. Maybe a turn and a half. <laughs> Catch that in. Sweep the the favors back as we go. Now that's plenty there. So just catch the one. Just catch this off and underneath. Taking three or four turns down towards the eye of the hook. You should be able to break that away then just come in sweep everything back and work our thread back up tight against the haggle now I'm just going to come in with the velcro just run it along the top the wing we're looking some bronze mallard feather so just strip away the rubbish from the bottom come in just bring out enough of the fibers to create a wing and then all you want to do is just fold this just fold it over it doesn't have to be perfect it's going to do me there now, I'm just going to put a wee lick of wax on one wee fibre there that's broke, take that away. Now the length of the wing, it's really up to you. I'm just looking the wing less the length of the tail over the back. So I'm just going to come in and pinch it. Come around with a pinching loop. Now 
doing half a dozen turns now just to see what way we're sitting. Right, I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to take another couple of turns at the back here. Bend the feather back because we're using the maximum amount of the hook net at this point, and then just come in, keep a hold of your wing, and trim away the the waist ends. Just tighten up over these. And bring your thread to the eye of the hook now. There's a wee favour there, so you come in with your nail, bend it back, make sure this is well secured in. And then another wee lick of wax. And then finally, we we'll want to finish off with a split jungle cock eye. So, now this is a, just one of the bigger eyes at the top of a cape. I'll just show you the cape, it's almost done, but most of them are sort of like split and raggedy. And this is a good way to use them up. So what I like to do is to take away all the the down and the the softer fibres that's actually each side of the eye and then just come in with my scissors. It is already split this side. I'm just encouraging it. And then we'll offer this up with a hook. Run about there. And I want the the two eyes sort of way up up into the wing, not down, but if that makes sense, up into the wing like that. Then just come in, just pinch them. We're in with a couple of nice tight turns here. Just make sure everything's nice and tight. Just have a wee check to both sides. Then just come in, hold everything. nice and tight cut if you can take that away and then we're just going to tidy up over the cut ends and you just shape your head at this point now don't be shying away from tying these flies guys they're easy to tie once you get into the the swing of tan Irish slog flies and if you like I say if you watch my videos you'll have heard me saying this before as well once you start tying these you'll be able to tie everything because there's one thing that tying Irish slog flies has over the years has sort of way taught me and that's the proportion flies yeah. that's the wee fly finished now that's only a wee variation of the fly and it's just simply because I don't have blue jay everything else in the pattern is the original dressing right first coat onto the head and this is really just to seal the thread turns up and to save me having to put three coats of varnish on this is just a wee drop of super glue now you don't want this to touch your dressing in any shape or form, it'll just ruin everything. So if you're going to use super glue, just be very careful. And then just clean everything off because super glue does have a tendency to want to run down the hook into the eye, and then just sure your eyes clean which is the most important part so there you go guys that's just a wee slight variation on Conwell's Pride so hopefully you've got something from that 
as always many thanks for taking the time to view the videos guys it's really appreciated if this is the first time watching one of my videos please consider subscribing it just helps my channel grow and until the next time take care of each other's uh, each other and uh, all being well god spurs me i'll catch us on the next one thanks for watching guys bye